Hello, this is Bradley Map 45 as always, and welcome to My Life in Games, a show where I just randomly drag a YouTuber from the street and ask them random questions. With me today, I have. Uh, hi, how are you doing? I'm super. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> not bad, not bad. Oh, right, should we get on to your first game? Yes. Should I say what it is? <laughs> yeah, feel free. <laughs> okay, this is the shocker for everybody now. It's Sonic the Hedgehog! OMG! Oh my goodness me. Do people right. see that coming? No. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, why did you pick that game then? Well, it's pretty much the first game I remember playing ever, so... Which... I don't know, it's probably because we played it a lot, and we being my brother and me. He's younger, by the way. But he's oh, the right. one he's the one who had all the consoles and stuff, you know how boys are, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's pretty much the first one we played. Uh, or at least the first one I can remember. Okay, fair enough. Um so you know like most people grow up with Nintendo like an NES and stuff yeah. like that. Do you think like grow up with um playing Sonic the Hedgehog and other Sega games has affected your choice of games? Actually, I think so. <laughs> um, I can tell, like, whenever, for example, there's E3 or something going on and everybody's all, like, Nintendo fanboy, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but not me. I'm just... Usually, if, if anything, I'm almost more critical of Nintendo or what they're bringing out. Like, I'm, I look at it and I'm like... It's almost like I'm being harsher on it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then again, we grew up with. I mean, we had a Nintendo system or Nintendo systems, um, but we also had, you know, Sega and PlayStation, and we even still had the Commodore 64. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> with cassette tapes. That's great. <laughs> wow. So, you must have had like a wide variety of games to choose from then. Yeah, we pretty much had a lot of stuff. It's, we didn't have the NES for a long time, really. So it was mostly just Super Nintendo and Sega for a long time until the PS1 came out, obviously. Uh, but we also had computers because my dad, oh my god, he was big with computers. So I had a computer since I was like, I don't even know, five or so? <laughs> right, okay. Um, <laughs> getting back to Sonic the Hedgehog. Right. Um, do you think that playing that sort of side-scrolling 2D platformer game has affected your... Like, have you, has it made you choose more games of that certain genre, having grown up with it? Absolutely. It's like, I, I love platformers, and I don't exactly like this whole... It's not like I don't like it, it's just that I wouldn't pick it at first, you know, all those new 3D things. Yeah, I just like yeah. my 2D stuff, and I like the side scrolling because you don't have to think in, like, 1500 angles. <laughs> yeah. It's just more simple. So, I love platformers, I love the whole, you know, going from left to right, or for all I care, even from like right to left sometimes, whatever. And it's, yeah, it's definitely affected it, because it's still one of my favorite game genres, you know, platformers. So you're saying you'd like, prefer, like, the Super Mario Galaxy, you prefer the new Super Mario Brothers games to the Super Mario Galaxy ones? Yeah, I actually never played Galaxy, and I don't think I'm going to anyways. Uh, for example, I also didn't like uh, Mario 64. That's the big thing that came out mm. back then, and I, I don't really even like that. I, it's just, you know, there's 20 billion angles for the camera, there's 20 billion things going on. <laughs> yeah. It can go in 360 degrees, you know, it's just like, oh man. And it doesn't even look super. It's like, if you want to go 3D with a game, you should make it like look really, really good. Otherwise, just stick with your 2D comic style, whatever you want to call it. Or pixels. Yeah, yeah. I suppose there's like lots of nice ways to get different sort of art styles into 2D games. It, where the, whereas you can only really go down the realistic route if you're going for 3D. Yeah, pretty much. If I want 3D and realistic, I just open the door and go outside, right? You know? <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. <Yeah. laughs> Right, um, <laughs> so let's move on to your next game then. Yes. So, next so what have game. you chosen for that? I picked Pokemon Red because it's basically, from what I remember, 
at least. It's the last game that I played for a long time. I was in uh, school there, obviously. And I was like teenager years or so when it came out. It was 96 or something like that, I don't know. Something around there anyways. And that was the last game I played. And it was actually my own game too, because everything else usually belonged to my brother. <laughs> Except I had Pokemon Red. It was mine, and he had Blue, so... It was, it was my game, it was the last game I ever played before taking a long break with gaming. So I had to pick that because it's kind of like a milestone, I still remember quite a bit from it. Like how excited I was when... You maybe remember that Game Boy Camera. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. played a bit, yeah. And they put um, some Pokemon on there and I thought they were really cool. It was little monsters and I didn't know what it was yet because they just kind of gave a sneak peek. So, it was awesome when that came out, and just the whole idea of, hey, you have your monsters, you can train them, you can fight with others, and um, when that Pikachu thing came out too, there was this little yellow thing uh, with a virtual Pikachu on it, and every step you'd make, it's like a step counter, um, oh, yeah, yeah. it would level up, God knows what, something like that, something crazy, I had that, it was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I, I do like the Pokemon series, it's... It's sort of, it's each time a new installment comes out, it's just like whole refreshes it completely. It's quite pleasant. Yeah, I actually stopped playing after first gen though, so. <laughs> oh right, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> everything else is like, all oh, right, Dad, all those new Pokemon and types and everything changed now, and I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's my last game, so I don't know. I just. I guess I didn't want to ruin it. I mean, I also replayed it, but I didn't really remember a lot. I just remembered little instances. Um, if you've seen my Let's Play of Pokemon Red, it's just... I don't know, yeah. it still had a lot of good memories to it because of that Game Boy camera thing and whatnot. Yeah. So, and I even used to draw Pokemon. Um, I used to make, like... I'm, once I made, like, an advent calendar with Pokemon, I think I still have a picture of that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I need to put that somewhere. <laughs> Interesting. Right. Um. Actually, going on from your let's play, um, did that did doing that whole let's play and um, yeah, did that boost your affection for the game? Um, I think it did. Yeah. I mean, I I forgot a lot of things. Like, okay, what exactly goes well with what again? I mean, I still remembered a few very obvious ones, like water and electro and all that. Yeah. But um, a few others were like, what kind of Pokemon type is this again? And then I had stuff wrong and whatnot. But it, I could tell that as I was playing, I got better at it again pretty quickly, actually. So I'm glad about that. It was still like playing blind, though. But at the same time, it was also kind of like, oh, look, nostalgia. Because that's what I did. Except back then, I tried to catch every Pokemon, obviously. <laughs> yeah. I still have, um, if the battery didn't die, obviously, by now on my Game Boy cartridge. I still have all Pokemon on level 100. Like oh, back, wow. Yeah, back then I, ca I caught everything. And I, um, like every single one. Except Mew, obviously, because I didn't really know about that back then. Not quite. Um, and I trained them, and I, like, tried to go to level 100 with everybody, so you can use them on Pokemon Stadium, obviously, and everything. So, that was hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's an immense feat. <laughs> wow. Um, okay, going back, going back to your brother. Say, you said that he had uh, Pokemon Blue. Did you play much? Like, do you battle him often or trade or stuff like that? Oh, was it the trading thing? Well, it was more like copying. You know, the trick with the Rattata. Like, if you turn off the game before you trade, you get a copy of the Pokemon. You don't have to actually trade it uh, because you know for. The starters was obviously what you want to do. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to yeah. trade it in. Um, I didn't battle him a whole lot, I don't think. It's just like, I don't know, it was kind of like he was in his world a little and I was in mine or something. Yeah, I was yeah. usually just in my room by myself and just doing stuff. I would just play that for hours. And with the big brick game, boys, if you remember, it's like your hands would fall asleep after a while. <laughs> 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 it was so bad. <laughs> I don't know, I just I just 
bunch of trainers in game for the most part. I didn't even have friends to like battle or anything. It's just it wasn't exactly uh, anime wasn't exactly big in Switzerland at all. Like people yeah. felt like that's kid stuff and that's you know for little babies and whatnot. So I was already in my teens, obviously, and it's like yeah, um, people don't understand that exactly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there, I there know what you mean. There wasn't anybody to battle, um, and I didn't really have friends anyway, so I would just play for myself, really. It was cool. Oh, fair enough. Collecting. <laughs> it works. Um, so you say you had a big break after getting that game or playing that game. Pretty was much. That, was that, like, due to circumstances, or was it down to other reasons, or... Yeah. Well... It was kind of around the time when stuff in my life changed. I mean, you become a teenager, you kind of start changing anyways. Um, a lot of crap happened in my personal life back then, like with my parents. Um, they're, you know, separate, well, divorced and separated. Yeah. And a lot of drama happened between those two. It, was, it wasn't it was exactly your war of roses kind of thing, but kind of. Like, you know, she would tell crap about him, he would tell crap about her. Yeah. Um, trying to figure out which side you're on or which side you have to be on or whatever the hell. So there wasn't even time to do anything anymore, like game-wise or just in general. There was just so much going on. Um, and at some point I moved to Germany, actually by myself, so family stayed where they were. Yeah. So they're just, for the longest time, there was just no time to even think about gaming or... Which basically kind of... Um, makes me different from any other Let's Player, really, because everybody has like a lot of experience with a lot of games, and I'm just kind of like tapping around in the dark because most of my stuff is blind, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except for the few games I played way back, but I barely remember anything, as you see on my Let's Play. <laughs> 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 so it's like, it's, it's basically like doing it blind, blind all over again. So right. I have to learn the stuff again. Yeah. <laughs> I, I suppose when you got back into gaming, it's like um, a whole fresh start, and it was must be quite. I don't know. I can't imagine how that would feel, really. Pretty much, it was. It was weird. I I did notice that I'm really skilled with, um, yeah, obviously 2D platformers like you know Super Mario World and whatnot. I used yeah. to play a lot of hacks um, when I got back into the games, which was like oof, at least. 10, 15 years later or so, something like that. It was a huge break, really. And I started out with those hacks and stuff, and I noticed that, you know, I was skilled at it, like jumping on one tile things or something without falling down and whatnot. So I kind of went from there. It was kind of interesting. It was a whole new rediscovery. Like, I didn't even see a gaming system ever before, almost. <laughs> it's like, I travel back in time, and <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it felt kind of weird, I guess. But <laughs> it's just too bad. The only thing, the only disadvantage was that I didn't have a lot of knowledge of, yeah, yeah. you know, like other people. So when a lot of stuff was going on um, with like people had trivias and stuff I couldn't even participate because I'm like I don't know squats <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which you know kind of made me sad but it's like well I don't know I just didn't have the luxury to um, be able to play games as much as I wanted I guess yeah yeah just did that okay then um, should we move on to your final game then? yes <laughs> that would be a big shocker, I guess. I don't know. Um, Okami. And no, I didn't play that because of Jugger Conroy. I played it way before he did his Let's Play. <laughs> um, it was it was way later. It uh, came out, and I pretty much it, it wasn't even my game. I was living with somebody, like with my boyfriend back then, and he picked it up, but he never really played it because he's weird like that. Sometimes yeah. he would just buy games and never play them. He just buys them to have them, I guess, or I don't know. And I played it. And uh, what can I say? I got sucked into it because the whole Japanese background, the whole mythology part. And yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm totally into that because me and Japanese stuff, if you can tell, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, <'cause> I <laughs> so 
I played it and I got really got really sucked into it. It was a nice game, really. I played it on the PS2, so the brush was actually pretty well. It worked pretty well. Yeah. Believe yeah. it or not, making all those symbols and whatnot. Um, I think I'm not even sure if I actually finished it. Like finish, finish. I know, know that I definitely didn't find all the beads, but I didn't really put a lot of focus on that because it was just like. You know, if I find them, I find them. If I don't, well, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I didn't feel like going places, especially since a lot of those beads are like a one-time only thing. You know, mm. like if you've been in an area you, and you didn't pick them up there, you can't get back there. So it's like, well, you screwed up. You'd have to start over. And I didn't like, or I don't like playing with like guides, really. I just I just want to go into the game and I, was just, I just want to play it explore and figure it out by myself yeah, unless there's yeah. something I really need but I, I did pretty fine on my own really so it was good it, it had a good story um, and that's pretty much the time when I started playing more games in general again but that's the one that stuck out because I spent so much time on it and it was pretty influential I'd say yeah. Also kind of nice because it's like <laughs> we had Sonic, which was on Sega, then we had Pokemon, which was on a Nintendo console, and now we have Ukami on a PS1 or PS2 console. It's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> it just kind of shows the diversity that goes on with me here. I'm not like fanboy towards any company or nothing. So yeah, yeah. I kind of like that, honestly. <laughs> 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 so yeah, Ukami. That was pretty cool. I really liked. The, um, the gimmicks, I guess, the brush, yeah. and uh, yeah, the, the the story, just the story. It's, it's I've seen footage of that game. It, it's a really really nice. Like it's quite unique as well. It's, it's very artsy too. It's like right up my alley, pretty much because of that. Because you know, I'm an art yeah. artist, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, it's nice. On on that, is that something that like made you want to play it? to start off with. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, I mean, is, it, like the whole art style of it, is that something that attracted you to, the, oh. to actually play the game? Um, it was, well, it was kind of weird at first a little bit because it had a pretty different art style from anything I've ever seen before. We you know, with all those thick lines, thin lines, and it kind of, well, it did kind of feel a little weird for my OCD, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> the lines are all like different strengths and whatnot. But it was it was nice. It was you know at first you'd think it would be disturbing, but as you keep going, actually it's just kind of like you know it just fits. Like it doesn't disturb you whatsoever. It, it fits in while it starts to blend in almost. Yeah. It's, it's really cool. So I don't know. I just heard stuff about it. I usually just look at trailers. I don't really read reviews or anything because you know. Somebody can totally hate something while somebody else can totally love something. So it's just not dependable. Yeah. I'd rather just see a trailer and be like, okay, it's that looks opinion, good. Yeah, and this whole brush thing was just interesting, and the whole Japanese aspect was interesting. So that's why you know I like or I wanted to play it. <laughs> yeah, it's a really clever game. It it's is. good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think. That's about it. That's so, pretty much it, yeah. So, is there anything that you'd like to promote, like your channel or anything? Um, well, if you didn't know, I have a channel. Well, <laughs> 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 it's Fire Kitty. It's a little hard to spell, I guess. So, maybe we need to put a link or something. I don't know. Yeah, the link will be in the description, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit hard. And, um, well, I do Let's Plays, which always kind of feel blind, so... And I do tutorials sometimes, and other interactive stuff. I also have a shop and whatnot, and I sell stuff for charity, so... With a lot of Nintendo characters, too, so... By the way. Always good. And Pokemon, and whatnot. <laughs> so... Quickly <laughs> link it back to this. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's all linked, do you see it? <laughs> other than that, that's... Pretty much it. There's just one more thing to say, I guess. Which is um. for you. It's like, thanks for having me. Yes. <laughs> this was yep. so cool. I was really excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, th thanks for being a part of this nice little thing. Yes, you're welcome. I'm going to spread <laughs> the living hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, if, if you want to be a part of it, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you whenever possible. And I think it's time to say bye. So, yep. I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> bye.